to go. Well, Coach, you're really giving the fans the money's worth at the moment. These games are getting more and more exciting. But all I've seen from the other side of the room is your blood pressure going through the ceiling. Talk to me. Well, it's, uh, it's incredible. I mean, first of all, I love this group of guys. You know, they're a terrific bunch of guys. They actually love being together. Yeah. They love playing in this league. Um, we're having such a great time on this ride. Um, and like I've said, you know, I've adopted the Billy Mims mantra. You know, the last time I looked, the team that scored more points won. You know, and I know there's a few purists out there wanting us to get down on our knees and uh, pray to the God of defense. Well, if we keep winning by one, I don't think we're going to bother doing that because we certainly didn't bother in the first half. But much like you've been, so many exceptions to the rule, and I find defense boring as well. So keeping firing as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, I mean, you better to listen to the Billy Mims, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we've got the kind of guys that can all explode at any given time. I mean, I wish we didn't give the opposition such a big lead every time. Um, so maybe that's something we've got to look at. Uh, um, but, you know, is this the best place to watch basketball in the British Basketball it's League? Be. It clearly it's is. Every, you know? every game Absolutely. is like this. But on another note, you finally got William Lee back on the floor. It looked like he's sort of easing his way back in a little bit. How glad are you had to have him back on the floor? I'm so happy to have him back, not just because of his numbers, yeah. but just what he does to the guys. You know, his IQ is incredible. Uh, such an intelligent basketball player makes a big difference to how we play. You know, for us it was, you know, touch and go to get him in here today. We probably played him a bit too many minutes in the first half. I didn't realize it was that many, so I shot him down in the second half. Um, and we'll try and do the same again on Sunday. And, and then hopefully, maybe it'll take him three or four games to be his old self, and then maybe we can kick on from there. Yeah. Well, that's the one I ask you, Vince. It's like people around the league are so used to seeing Vince McCauley down in London. How are you finding it being back? Because a lot of people know that you're originally from the north, right? <laughs> no, they don't. They don't know. How's it, how's it been back, being back up north for you? I love being here. Yeah. I really love Manchester. It's cheaper. You know, it's very much cheaper than London. Um, there's so much to do around here. It, you can get about in your car. I'm seven minutes away from practice. Yeah. It used to take me an hour and a half to go to practice in London each way. You know, um, so yeah, I can. I intentionally leave my shoes in the flat so I can come back. Oh, I forgot my shoes. And, you know, but no, I, I really love being here. The people have you know welcomed me. Myself, Nigel, obviously Paul's a local, yeah. and uh, we just want to you know really really live up to what Manchester basketball should be. Yeah, well, it's a hard tradition, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, Vince, thank you for bringing your brand of basketball. We're enjoying it, and. Um, Take it easy, man. These close games, you're going to do yourself a mischief, Vince. Come, Come to you. a Giants game. Tell We're looking you. forward to seeing you. Come on yeah, down. Yeah. You're going to have heart failure, yeah, but it's well worth it. Thanks, Carl. Thank you, Alan. Thank you very Thank much. You.